Hey there, my name is David. On this episode, I'm going to be going up this weird mountain behind me here called Big Rock County Mountain. There's a song written about it and released in 1928. It was actually written in 1895. It's a very weird yellow mountain when you come around the bend here. This is near the Hoover rest stop uh, south of Richfield, southern Utah. This weird mountain really sticks out. Um, I went and talked to the guy at the front there in the uh, inn or hotel here, which uh, used to be kind of the head of the railroad station, which is now the road. And he said usually it's just the tourists that go up there, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, there is a bit of sulfur in there, so I don't really want to spend a lot of, too much time on the yellow stuff, but it's mostly just a discoloration in the, uh, these birds are really insane, discoloration in the rock, and that's why it gets its color, so let's go check it out. So this area around here isn't known for hiking. There's no hiking trail up here. There's just uh, four by four trails. A lot of those trails go be around the mountain. They don't go up it. So I think I'm gonna just take a path to the right up here. It looks a little rocky, little class three, class four-ish. Uh, definitely class four-ish going that way. This way looks uh, doable. So let's try that first. Okay, so what I'm thinking is going over there, through there, up there, and then up along there to get up on top. I won't lie. These walls are intimidating. I know there's probably flash floods around here and I hope it's not in that season right now. A little bit of water at the bottom here, but uh, wow, this is quite the place. I got a fork in the road here. You go left or right. Left actually looks good. Right was the original route I intended. I don't know, this looks like it gets me right up there. So this is the left route. That looks really good. Right, uh, I'd have to go around and then up. This looks like the gradient on this is just perfect for getting up here. It's almost like stairs built in. So we're gonna head up here. Just trust my instinct. If you're wondering what this place smells like, yes, it stinks. It doesn't stink a lot, but it still smells enough. I don't wanna spend a lot of time here. I don't really wanna to touch this either. Some of this rock looks so alien. So we've got one tricky section here. Stuff is so crumbly. Oh. There we go, good foothold. <sighs> Looks like there's an exit up there. And this looks doable. Okay, so I had to put away the cameras to climb up two sections. And, uh, oh, this looks like it gets up there. I'm not sure. Just gotta keep going. This section is exactly as it looks. It's about a 12 foot wall straight up. At this point in my road trip, I had so many obstacles in my way. I hadn't hiked very many mountains and now the COVID, this wall wasn't gonna get my path of summoning this mountain. Oh, 
Well, that's why I just came up. That's actually a pretty serious uh, little climb there. I'm not gonna step out any further. This is all loose. And that's all that's left. Uh, but this is all rock, so this looks much better. Okay. Try to lose my nerve here. Climbing this weird yellow mountain wasn't for the views. It's not a popular hike. It was to find respect for myself, knowing that I can push myself out of my limits and handle what comes at me. Uh, push, push, push. Yeah. Whew. I was likely sick with Omnicrom. I have all the exact symptoms, even though my tests were negative. And uh, I've just been feeling like I'm like a weak hiker. I can't hike anymore. I'm never gonna get back to where I was. I was just feeling so weak. Oh, I needed this. Good pump up there, class three, a few class four moves in there. A uh, little scary, definitely scary going up some of that. There, so I just climbed up on a little ridge. That's where I came up, right there. You can see uh, that whole thing. It's such an unusual landscape. It's all golden where I'm at, and then it turns brownish over there. So there's this nice little chute here to go up, piece of cake, and uh, even to my right up here, I could go up there as well. And what does this look like? So I decided to take the second chute. Doesn't really matter. Look at this rock down here. It's all glistening. You know, I get serious when I put the tripod out, I get a pole out. This pole was essential. I had to push against the rock uh, to get enough lifting force to get my feet up. This stuff just breaks apart and even some of the good rock holds, you step on them and then they start to crumble. Quite the uh, drop right here. So I'm just going to slowly tiptoe my way through here. Oh, yeah, there's poop here. What is that? Maybe elk or something? Looks like pellets. The only thing I have to worry about now is not rattlesnakes. Uh, and then also getting down. I can't go the way down that I came up. It's too too steep, too dangerous to do that backwards. So there's this other chute here, looks good.
this is it. So you can see there's a, there was a summit cairn there, it kind of fell down. This is the top of the the golden, uh, golden mountain part. The actual true summit we'll get afterwards, but uh, not too windy right now. Mountains in this valley are incredible. I love them. So I'm just navigating now to the top of the, the true summit of this thing. Really all I wanted to do is stand on that cliff edge with the drone flying around, but uh, definitely not leaving without the, the check mark. Oh God, there's something up there. Oh, it's a big horn. It's a big horn sheep. That's what these huge uh, prints in the mud are. And then there's also these dumps up here. I don't know anything about those things. I don't want to be near it though. Hopefully he ran away. I'll make a lot of noise here. Look at that. Cactus. We got little flowers on them. So I've seen a lot of pellet poop, but this is a big steaming pile. A dried up steaming pile. Someone can tell me what that is. I think that's black bear poop, to be honest. I don't know what these bighorn guys drop. Do they do pellets or do they do big piles like that? I don't know. This looks like the summit, but it says it's further up. This is the fall summit. Unfortunately, looks like a little ways over there. I don't know. Another little summit here to see what this is. Definitely don't have the normal energy I usually have. Getting into some chunky monkey here. It says it's still further over there. I don't know. Just trying to push over a bit.
This one is labeled wrong on Google Maps. This is 100% the highest point. They keep telling me to go down the mountain that way, about two or 300 meters to get the summit. So let me just take you over here and show you. We climb up on this rock. There we go. I'm just gonna push over here and see if this goes up. There's one little hill there. Maybe that's higher. I don't know. That, that definitely seems like a summit block behind me there. We're gonna get lured in a bit here. But I'm not gonna get dragged around all day trying to find some invisible summit that doesn't exist. Okay, so this is it. This is the summit on the map, which is not as a summit. Uh, Maybe it's this little bump behind me here, but I don't think so. It's not higher than this. This one across here though. Take a look. See, that's where I was standing before. That's higher. So, I guess it's just wrong on the map. It's a little tricky to actually traverse in here. There's a little spot over there you can get through. Uh, this drops off pretty dramatically. As you can see by that view and the trees dropping below the level of the ground. Okay, so that was for sure the summit bagged it and now I'm gonna go back. Oh, well, there's a big lizard in front of me, a gecko guy. So I'm going to try to stay on this ridge to get back to this uh, little false summit. And then once I get past the false summit, it connects to the, the brush that's up there that was easy to go through. It's like you could pick like one of those. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I can go down there. No problem, or I can just go straight across, and I probably could. The thing is, if you get to some area where it really drops off and you're screwed, like you might have to backtrack a ton. So you can see why I didn't come up this straight down but from the other side I know that there was a ridge that connected the very tops of these summits I just didn't want to do the chunky stuff but the chunky stuff is better than that stuff I did so we're gonna do this a lot of pellet poop down here this is definitely one of the ones that went around and this looks not bad at all I probably should have come this way There's another one over there. It's not out of the woods yet. Okay, so this is the this is the worst one I think. It's like nasty down there. I don't want to go down there. Uh, so you can either go down around this way. Let's just try this side of the mountain get through to the top of this and then let's see what we got on the other side of this okay. we're on the very top of it Okay, so not going that way. I see the connection point over there. I think that's the last fall summit. It's about four or five of them. Oh yeah, we can get down here. No problem. So many of these rocks just want to break off like this. Oh crap. That's ready to go. home free here. Yeah, and here's the first fall summit. So we're back in business, baby. Feels good to get off that uh, summit block area. Now we have one last challenge to deal with and that's getting off the mountain. Remember all that sulfur stuff at the beginning? I can't go back the way I came. It's way too dangerous. Uh, if I were to go down there, I'd want a rope. <laughs> so I knew that going up and I just was already so so far up and committed that I was like, I'll find another way down. All right, so I got back to the opening here. You can see the candy stuff is just down there. Now we just need to find the right route. So here's a crucial moment. There's a little bit of a gully there. And so either fork on the other side of that or come where I'm at now and then hug the, the right side of this thing, the sulfur gold, whatever, 
on the inside on, on the bottom. It looked fine when I was down there before we're gonna try this. Um, I also remember when I came in that first ridge that was the tree covered one which is on the other side there also looked okay. So there's two options but I have to decide now. I can't change later because it too much of a gully there. So we're gonna try the sulfur side. It looked like it was fine to get down. So I came up on this ridge here somewhere uh, where I pop up here somewhere. So I'm gonna go down over here and uh, hope this works. Sometimes you just gotta do it and hope for the best. And uh, if not, I can backtrack all the way back up there and take the other ridge and the tree line one and see if that works, but I'll make this work. Ooh. I was having a heart attack. Looked like a big cliff there. I have to go all the way back up. Oh man, that would be brutal. Still not out yet. I'm so close, but I can get down this. There's another one down there. Let's go see. Oh, this is brutal. Slippery stuff. So dry. Actually some fresh water here. But literally the last spot is the hardest. I could scooch over here actually. Jump up on there and scooch over. Just climbing down this. It's pretty. Oh, I didn't make a decision. With no visible landmarks, it's hard to tell how far this drop is. It's about 15 feet from the small little waterfall area. I ended up climbing up though, making it about an 18 foot drop. I didn't take the small waterfall down climb as it was all wet and slimy, which you don't really see on camera. What you didn't see on camera is I tried to climb down the waterfall first, failed miserably and then climbed up onto this ledge. From here I ended up scooching down about 8 feet and then I jumped to the bank on the other side and slid down until I hit the bottom.
That's pretty substantial. A little drop there. I'm glad I went the way I went. I could have climbed down this. It's hard to down climb stuff like that though. Oh, this isn't pretty here. Oh God. That, that cooked my nerves. That was rough. Uh, just had to butt scooch it and uh, find a couple good holds. Found a couple rocks that weren't breaking off. I sure hope there's nothing else. I think this is it. Do not recommend this hike to anyone, except if you're an avid hiker. Cause that's some uh, white knuckle, white knuckle action there. So about 1,446 uh, feet of gain and 5.86 kilometers. What is that? Three point eight miles, something like that. Oh. I initially intended this to be just like a one hour, like let's just run up there and check it out. And uh, I think I'm going on like four hours now, four and a half hours. I'm back now at the hotel. Um, they have actually a full hotel, motel thing here. And there's also um, box cars down here that you can sleep in and there's bike trails. It's a really nice area. So if you come down here, check out this hotel, give them some support. A big thanks to my Patreon supporters. It means the world to me that you're help supporting my vision and dream. If you appreciate these hiking films and you want to support me, you can subscribe and like the video. And if you want to support me further, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash davidhiking. And until the next one, have a great day.